Hi, and welcome to Game of Drones. You know, we've been flying, fighting, and crashing a lot recently, and broken frames are starting to get kind of pricey, not to mention the fact that our electronics are getting trashed. That's why we came up with this. We're calling it the VF Zumo Quad. It's a vacuum form frame that was really cheap and fast to make, and hopefully it'll be waterproof and sort of bulletproof and able to take the wear and tear of a quad that's gonna be doing battle. There's only one way to know for sure if it can handle the rigors of battle, and that's live fire testing. But first, let's show you how we made it. All right. For the first frame prototype, we decided to raid the Tupperware cabinet in the kitchen. And so basically we have a Tupperware container, we have four shot glasses, and four corn on the cob holders. This is going to create the mold that we vacuum form over. So this piece of styrene is being held in a frame and it's being heated over four hot plates. Uh, slowly, over the course of about seven to ten minutes, this whole piece will get nice and soft. It'll start to droop down and become really plastic. When that's the case, we're going to quickly lift it up onto this table here where the vacuum will be running, sucking air into it, forming a perfect reproduction of shell of this shape. You know, it took us a couple of tries to dial in all the elements to get the vacuum form and the heating just right. But once we did, we were able to make form after form after form. So now that we've got it dialed in, we'll be able to make these relatively inexpensive throwaway frames that are bulletproof and ready for battle. All right, so I've installed the motors and ESCs. I'm using a APM 2.5, so I'm installing the software into that, and everything is just about ready to go. Okay, so it looks both airworthy and waterproof, and that's a good start. But let's see what it can do against an actual paintballer. I feel confident. Stand by. Cease fire, cease fire. Well, those initial paintball tests went really well, but we decided to keep moving forward before doing further testing. So we actually changed the design of the mold as well as the material. We're now using Kydex. It's the same material you find in gun holsters and knife sheaths. It's really strong and flexible, a lot stronger than the styrene was from the last form. We're also gonna be testing whether or not it can float and land in and take off from the water. Good job, Mark. successful test of the pontoon system. Yeah. So the final test of this Kydex frame is the crash test. I'm going to fly it, put it in the air, and then shut down power and see what happens. Let's go see what we did to it. Well, the GoPro fell off, but that's not surprising. But let's see how the drone did. Okay, do you see it? Yeah, I'm on it. Drop it again on three, two, one. That looks good. That 
look good, right? It looks good. Well, the lid came off, but it's just being held on with some tape. Otherwise, the frame looks absolutely fine, totally unscathed. Let's just put the lid back on and see if it'll fly. Okay, there it goes. Well, I think we're on to something. Vacuum forming, Kydex frame, seems pretty durable. We just did two drop tests from about 40 or 50 feet, and this thing was back up in the air within about five minutes. I think the Game of Drones team has finally come up with a battle drone that can take just about any abuse you can throw at it. From all of us at Game of Drones, remember, keep flying and rotors up. <laughs>